Hi, I'm Moran. This is Career Builder Toolkit TV, Episode 5, Being a Professional versus Being a Hobbyist. And this is a concept that goes back to our time when we were homeschooling. Um, there was a speaker that was at an event, and I really appreciated what she had to say. She was talking about homeschooling and about the tendency to try and get through every piece of curriculum and ensure that every single thing on your list is completed and, and how that really drives homeschooling people crazy. They, uh, they just, um, they, they have this misguided belief that in the school system teachers get through every single bit of curriculum and every single item is covered perfectly. And she made the comment, she said, you need to become a professional. And what she, she explained that by saying, a professional gets the work done in the time allotted then moves on, rather than a hobbyist who will spend time tinkering trying to get it perfect. And so that's kind of the idea is you, you want to be a professional, not a hobbyist. And I think that tendency is, is relevant to the IT professional who oftentimes gets caught up in featureitis and adding everything to the product that they possibly can. It's true both at, for employees and for consultants, so it's something, something to think about. I just finished reading the book Rework by the guys over at 37 Signals. I have a link to it on the blog and I wholeheartedly recommend it. And they kind of talk about a similar concept when they talk about underdoing the competition. They, they, they kind of admonish you not to go out and try and match everything that the competition is doing, but instead have one or two great things that your product or your service does and deliver that. You'll find out a lot more about what your, um, what your customers want and um, also you'll find out that the simplicity actually becomes a competitive advantage. So. Once again, it's just something to think about as you move forward in your career, whether you're a consultant or an employee. Make sure that you're being a professional and not being a hobbyist. And hopefully you find that tip helpful. Um, let me know. Leave comments on the blog or send me an email to info at cbtoolkit.com. And I appreciate you checking in. Thanks.